Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it, we knocked out 2022 Tops Five Star Baseball. Eight box, pick your team number 45. There's the fresh case right there. Very big thanks to this group for making it happen. Now Tristan ended up with the last spot mojo with the Braves. So we got the last spot before we pulled the remaining teams for a, uh, for a big team random that we did. So if you have a little rooftop next to them, that means you won that team in the team random. Kind of like a random team, but we just randomize your names, just not the teams. You can see that in the video. Yeah, so we did that randomizer in a separate video if you're looking for that. Fresh case right here. And we posted, we did post another case as well. So if you missed out on your teams this time, don't miss out next time. Get your team before someone else does, and someone else will. Love the five star, a lot of great stuff here. Two autographs per box. Yeah, playoff Jimmy is scary though, Scott. That is, that's true. We were tying a little basketball before we started this break. But I mean, the Nuggets who just fought my Lakers are, they seem like a team of destiny. Everything seems to be clicking. Gilo's saying everyone's doubting Butler and proving him wrong <laughs> every time gets old. Time for the Nuggets to humble him, maybe? Here's Tyler McGill. Rookie auto for the Mets. That's going to be for Ryan Heights. I suppose now that the Lakers season, I can start focusing on baseball again. And they've got a nice patch auto, four out of five. Big boppy, David Ortiz. And that's Chris Butler with the Red Sox. The Butler did it. Out of fives and under, get the train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! That's great. Big piece of the letter right there. That's awesome. Wait, is that the T of Boston or is that the T of Ortiz? Do they put their names on the back of their jersey? Maybe for Boston. Anyway, nice. Next case in the store, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like we've been getting some nice stuff out of these five-star cases. We got the wizard, Ozzy Smith, 45 out of 50. You're a wizard, Ozzy. That goes to Tristan, the Nationals. Or sorry, not the Nationals. That's where the Washington Wizards play. See, my head's still in basketball mode. D.Y. and the uh, Cardinals with the wizard. The next one here is Daryl Strawberry. Mets. Ryan Heights with New York. There's Chris. Thanks for helping fill up that, uh, that filler. Rewarded that Ortiz. Ryan Heights gets a straw man. Daryl Strawberry. All right. Another one. We got Lars Nootbar. Rookie auto for the Cardinals. Another one for DY. Lars Nootbar had a cool story with like Team Japan, I think. During the World Baseball Classic. He said, like, you Darvish and Shoei are obviously giant gigantic superstars, almost akin to like a pop star, that kind of level of superstardom in Japan. And he was saying that 
uh, they, they got to meet the prime minister. They went through like some secret tunnels to like exit those star players. And Nudvar was just, it's like he's never been treated like that. 49 out of 50. Well, they were treating Shohei from Darvish, but. All right, here is Mark McGuire, Big Mac, A's edition, going to Ryan Heights. We got Jackson Coar, six out of fifteen, rookie autograph for the Kansas City Royals. Tristan with KC. Royals minor league pitcher of the year. And we've got Matt Olson for the Braves. That's going to be for Tristan in Atlanta. Last spot mojo strikes again. My Dodgers beating the Braves earlier today. We got Matt Manning. M and the at symbol. Get it? Matt Manning, rookie auto for Travis and the Tigers. It's pretty clever, Matt Manning. I see you. And there's Smoltzy, John Smoltz. Nice. One out of 25. Another one for the Braves, Tristan. Yeah, that Otani Trout matchup. Might go down as one of the best moments in not only in world baseball classic history, just baseball history in general. How many times do you think they replay that in four years, Gila, when their base world baseball classic comes back? We got Jake Berger. Mmm, Berger. Rookie auto for the White Sox. That's for Bartholomew. Bart with the Berger. I think Jake Berger's been playing pretty decently yeah. this season. Got him on my fantasy team. He was on the IL for a little bit, but. One of the only bright spots about White Sox. Yeah. Team right now. Hitting some dingers. Looking pretty good. All right, and we've got Paul O'Neill. Six out of 75. So the uh, burger, the delicious burger, goes to Bart, and Paul O'Neill goes to Tristan and the Yankees. A couple more boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I wonder what they. Yeah, yeah, to be a fly on the wall when when Otani and uh, Trout met each other back at Angels Camp. Probably some good-natured trash talking. Otani probably said, "I got you, mf'er." And Trout was like, "U.S.O.B." But they probably said those words on <laughs> her family-friendly shows, so we don't see those words. Although you might hear it say in the background, <laughs> the mic, hot mics might catch those those words when we're watching sporting events. We got Patrick Mazika. 33 at 75, who had like a hot week with the Mets, right? When he got called up. I think he's on the Dodgers now. I think he's, I, I, I think he's maybe, probably in the mind. They probably released him, actually. I don't think he made the team, so. He was on the Dodgers. And, ooh, look at this. Jaron Duran Duran. Pentamerous penmanship. He's having some moments. 
13 out of 25, he is. The baby Red Sox, kind of looking good. They got Casas called up too, right? Got Jaron, Jaron Duran Duran, hungry like the wolf. Hungry for some major league playing time. He was, uh, he was one of those guys that you did not want to see during last year's breaks. And now all of a sudden, yeah. people have been brushing off their Jaron Duran. He's been good. But the year before, they wanted Jaron Duran because he had a hot spring. And then they, the next year they didn't want him anymore. And then now this year they, they he, he's he's had an up and down, sort of, uh, sort of yeah, hobby yeah, roller. That big, that big kind of blunder where he didn't chase the ball in center field and all this right. stuff. And no, he's really figured it out. You know what I think it was, honestly? I think he listens that to team, the Team Mexico experience. The whole Maybe, was, yeah. Was there some big vets on there? How many times do you think he gets asked if he likes Duran Duran? All the time. Probably all the time. You think he's sick of it or you think he like I likes Duran Duran? You think he's you don't think he listens to Duran Duran? No, he's listening to like future. Probably that's not <laughs> and NBA young boy. And, yeah. All right, last two. We've got um, Brian De La Cruz for the fish, Miami Marlins. Oh, he's hot right now. Nestor. Too. Yeah, he is. Have you ever been Marlin fishing, Chris? Uh, I've only been fishing IRL a few times, mm. but if your video game has fishing, your game is great. It's mm. the best. I think you might be able to fish in Breath of the Wild. Yes, absolutely. All right, that goes, and the new one's out. Um, once again, that goes to Nestor and the Marlins. And the final one is... Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Chicken we man. got Wade Boggs with a Chicken Man chicken. inscription. 19 out of 20. This is Devil Ray's version of Wade Boggs. You're the devil in disguise. Oh, yes, you are. Devil in disguise. Mm. That goes to Ryan and the Rays, the Chicken Man. And there you go, boys and girls. 2022 five star baseball in the book. This is some great stuff. We got another case loaded up. I feel like we can knock another one out straight up, or maybe with the help of a filler at some point tonight. Make it happen. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break.